So, here are some ways to determine the sample size. So, the first one, conduct census. So, meaning kung census ang whole population ng imuhang kwaon na sample or kwaan o um, data or imuhang is your base. Possible na ang whole population imong gamitin if small lang siya. So, for example, your population is around kanang equal to equal or less than 200, then pwede lang as lang tanan yung consider as your sample or sa tanan sa population ng mong kuwaan o survey. So, kani tungod kay silang tanan yung kuha na wala ang sampling error, wala error tungod kay ang whole population man yung kuha. So, the next one, using a sample size of a similar study. So, mauni siya no, nga important yun kung maganda ko research paper na kay RRL. Okay, para imong makumpare sa uban study kung kung saan mo pag-decide kung sa kada ko imuhang sample size. So, one disadvantage no, is the risk of repeating any errors that were made in calculating the sample size sa original na author kung aha ka nag-base or kung aha ka nag-base na study. So, kana lang siya, sag siya ang problem if mag-base lang ka sa previous na mga studies. So, another one, using a table. So, na published online na table na nakakomplete na daan ng sample size na gadepende sa yung sa kadaghan o kadako ang population. So, it provides a sample size for a given criteria. So, I attached it on the last page of the e-module na akong di post. So, another one, formula. So, daghan kayo formulas pag complete sa sample size. So, gadepende po na siya kung sa'yo mo available na parameters. So, the first one, Kung kabalo ka sa standard deviation, kani, contrans sample size formula, pwede siya gamitin. Kung wala ka kabalo, you can use this Lowen's formula. Now notice that standard deviation, so meaning, knowledgeable na good kay kasi yung population. Kung naakay data about sa standard deviation. So, um, ideally, murag ka ni Gidno, wag kita kabaluan na kahit wak pa man ta nagkanda kong study. So, you can use this Lovins formula. So, muna siya, no, itong table na available. So, simple lang yun siya. We simply look at the population size. For example, 1,000 ang population size. Dahil ang confidence level na imong gusto is 95%. With a margin of error of 5%. So, meaning, 278 samples mong kwaon. Or, kung gusto ka nga, gamay ragid ka yung error, 1% lang, then 95% na confident ka, you can use 906 samples. Okay, another one, kung gusto ka, 99% kang confident, with a margin error, margin of error ng 1%, meaning 943 samples in mong kwaon out of your 1,000 um, 1, samples, uh, 1,000 population size. So, kana siya. So, another one, katunos, Lovins formula. So, muna siya ang formula. Small letter n is equal to n all over 1 plus n times e squared. So, where in small letter n is the sample size, capital N is the population size, and e is the margin of error. So, bala gula kakabalo sa oban details, kasi kakabalo lang ka unsa kadako ang muhang population, unsa sila kadaghan. 
and then you decide the margin of error, then you're good to go to compute para sa mga sample size. For example, kami, you have a population size of 10,000 and suppose we decide na yung margin of error is 5% or 0 0.5. Kaya mo naman siya i-convert first into decimal ang percent before mo na siya gamitin sa formula. So, kani, by substitution, di ba, mo siya. So, 0 0.05 is just 5% sa money. So, the answer is 385 samples.